Cats come into the clinic and uh, sometimes when you leave uh, cat food out all the time for them to just graze on as they will, they eat more than they should and if they're not active cats, they will gain weight. So if you can't even attempt to fill your cat's ribs, um, if there's a big fat covering over them um, like this, and this kitty's 16 pounds, and you can tell um, by looking at her, they carry their weight in their belly, they carry it over their ribs. The body condition score is a way to judge the cat according to the fat carry in various areas, and obese cats get a score of five. So Deal, our hospital cat, he's his weight's uh, better when you want to assess the weight in your cat you have to put your finger on the ribs and you want to fill the ribs you don't want to have a big fat pad and also cats will carry their weight underneath and so you have to fill underneath and see if there's a big saggy fat so you want your cats to be um, a, and probably most cats are around Dill's weight which is um, you can you can fill the ribs they're not covered in fat, and it's hard because they're hairy. You have to go underneath. So Dill's no way as big as the cat you saw in the beginning, huh, Dill? And Dill actually eats uh, what he wants most times. Some cats will regulate their weight, and some won't. So Dill does. Cats with less fat cover over the ribs and carrying less in the belly get a BCS of three. That's the ideal cat. As cats get older, you start to get bones sticking out, um, like in here, and as you can see, I can pretty much put my fingers along the side of the muscles and along the spinal, along the vertebrae and spinal cord, co spinal column. Um, some cats, you can, if we were to shave this little old kitty down, you can see that his ribs stick out a little bit. He doesn't have much muscle mass. Now this is getting thin. Underweight cats aren't near as common where their ribs can be felt easily and the spines of the vertebrae can be felt. But that gets a body score of two. Weight like this can cause problems with their breathing, um, problems with their joints, more weight and wear and tear on their joints, pull down on their back and get wear and tear on their vertebrae, and cause um, other issues, other health issues. So this is a cup of dry food. A dry food is about 400 calories. Um, most cats need a couple hundred calories a day. No cat would need a full cup of this, especially if they're obese, like we were talking about. An obese or heavy kitty would only need one quarter to one half this. If we pour, look, we won, it's Las Vegas. So that's the most an obese cat would need in the bottom of their dish, it's about half a cup. It's about 200 calories and maybe even a little less. This is dry food and this is wet food. The difference between the two is the canned food is diluted by water and has less calories. It has 30 calories per ounce. This dry food has 46 calories per ounce, which is about 50 calories per ounce. So you can see right there, there's a 20 calories per ounce difference. And if a cat eats a volume of this, it might feel more satiated, more full. And some cats just get hooked on this type of food. It has more calories, it's easier to eat, and it's like popcorn or potato chips. <laughs> We've all been there. And they gain more weight with dry food. Wet food also helps it, it has moisture. It gives more for their kidneys and uh, their internal organs to use the water in there to flush out their system. That's why we always mention that obese cats should get it because it's less calories. Cats with kidney problems should get a moisture food because they use the water in the food to flush out their kidneys and their bladder. Cats aren't very good drinkers. They don't overcome the dryness of this to drink enough water to help their bodies, so that's why this already has it in it. So that's this, if your cat has urinary issues or is obese, 
try wet food. Get rid of the dry food. And if you have other cats eating the dry food, all of them may have to eat the wet food. They have lower calorie dry food. It often doesn't work because the cats will overeat the, cal the reduced calories to get the same amount of over abundance of calories. So wet food is better for most cats for a variety of reasons. Dry food causes a lot of obesity and urinary problems. So kitties that eat moisture food, such as canned food, which has less calories per ounce, are probably better as a weight loss. You can weight loss food. You can try to buy a weight loss dry food, but you have to restrict the amount. Most cats only need a few ounces in the bottom of the bowl twice a day. That's what I do with my cats. As with dry food, is they overeat dry food, especially when it's left out. And that packs a humongous amount of calories, and so most cats don't exercise enough to get it off. So the first tip is, get your cat out. See if it will even, it will walk around and use some kind of a play toy. Get it more exercise, get them more exercise. Another thing is, is try wet food. Um, instead of dry food, but wet food has less calories per ounce because of the moisture. does a cat need? Well, it needs enough to perform essential uh, functions, digestion, respiration, heart function, brain functions. That's called the resting energy requirement, or the RER. And here's the formula that you can use 70 times the cat's weight in kilograms to the three-quarter power. And that's tough. I mean, who wants to do that? But there's charts like this you can use that show the uh, calories on one side and the weight on the other side. And you can tell that the, the amount of calories go up as the weight go up. Emma always waits there and then she runs in and waits first to come and then she jumps over because she knows it's time to eat. So when I feed my cats, I put a little front cat gate, a dog gate, to prevent them from, the dogs from eating the food, and I put it up in this area. So when I feed, um, I usually put a little bit on the bottom of the bowl. I don't overfeed a couple times a day. She's uh, looking because she wants a little bit of wet food, so... I feed them a combination of dry and wet. Um, she, she likes some wet foods and she doesn't like others, but she, she, I think she's decided she likes this flavor, chicken and liver. It's the country style dinner. So I've tried, I've tried grain free foods and all the expensive foods, but she actually likes friskies. I'm not, friskies is a good food. It's not a real quality cat food. But um, usually I've tried all kinds of different varieties like Fromms. And as you can see for my dogs, I use Blue Buffalo and I use grain free foods and there's some more Blue Buffalo and Evangers and Merricks. But uh, she won't have anything to do with that. She wants Friskies. You can see from what I talked about in the chart, she's tucked up in her abdomen you can fill her ribs without very much trouble at all. She's at pretty much at the ideal weight. She doesn't have a lot of fat sagging below. So, <laughs> but those of you that feed your cats um, a lot of cat food and leave the bowl full, um, that's going to add to a lot more weight. She wants some more. And here's Mo here's Moki. Now Moki and just going to share. Moki's got a little bit more weight um, as I put in the food. You can see Moki's got a little fat pad, but actually Moki doesn't have too much fat in here, but has some little saggy skin down below. Um, and one of the reasons Moki has more weight is because Moki um, is got asthma and I give Moki shots of cortisone every now and then and it may add to the weight she carries below. Okay, that's good. Charts like this were made to give you an idea of what to feed your cat. Realize that all cats are individuals and many of them need different amounts of food. 
Most cats that I, as I said before, will self-regulate or keep their weight down, or even if they're pleasantly plump uh, and not overly obese, then they'll keep their level at that. Um, in order to really figure out how to feed a cat that has pro weight problems, of course, first you would go to to wet food instead of dry food or the smaller amount of dry food and if you want to figure out the calories uh, using charts like this may help where you go up from your cat's weight on the bottom scale and then figure out the calories they need but it seems like most cats get in the realm of two to three hundred calories per day so you look on the can or the dry food and figure out what that is and how much they need remember they just need a few ounces of dry food and possibly half a can of wet food twice a day and that you will usually meet all their requirements in my book dog diet answer book um, that's on amazon or at my website dog dish diet by that little known author greg martinez i go over the problems with obesity in dogs um, anesthetic problems reduced reduced lifespan more pain um, um, also, uh, you can have chronic breathing problems and heart problems, cough, and cats can have the same type of things. So if you want to check out those same issues with dogs, you can go to the website, uh, Dog Dish Diet, or look on Amazon Dog Diet for the Dog Diet Answer Book by Greg Martinez, DVM.